before we start, let's do some counting by tens again. Do you want to do it just, uh, well, we'll do it with a hundred chart. All right, let's use this hundred chart to count by fives. Ready? Oh, remember these are nickels. Okay, you ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, almost there, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, let's count these down here now. I'm just going to put a check mark when we count them. Let's see how many coins we have. And remember, we can count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, but we still have another row. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Let's find 50 on the hundreds chart. There, we just, we just, we just counted by fives because nickels are worth five cents each. Let's start page two of this uh, assignment. I know you don't have the pages with you. This is one that you can have some, uh, you just need a, a few nickels and a few pennies and you can count along with this at home with the real coins. Using real coins helps you remember things better. And if you if you want to write these down, you can, but I'd rather just have you practice counting real coins with me. Okay, ready? These are nickels. These are pennies. I've got some bigger pictures over here so that you can see the back. And here's some pennies. And I wanted to point out that sometimes there's different patterns on the front and back for the same coin. Like, oh, excuse me. This is the newer one cent coin. I mean, it's, well, I'm older, so it's newer, you know, in my, relatively speaking. And this is the older one. There's even some older ones that have a wreath on the back. And those are, what's well, that have a different pattern on the back. And those are older. And if you have those, I would probably save those. They might be worth more than one penny. Ready? Okay, let's count along. Five, ten. Oh, here we switch to the different coins. Ten plus one. I'm just going to write a plus one up here to remember it. And this was counting by fives. Two nickels. Five, ten. Ten plus one. Mm hmm. Eleven. Eleven and one. Twelve. Twelve and one. 13, and that's just like regular counting, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, right here, got to pay attention because there's no more pennies here. This says in all. How many coins do we have in all? Well, we just counted them. We have 13. That's what we would write here, 13. Number five. Let's see, I've got one, two, three, four nickels and a penny and again that is this penny right here so we can count by fives and then we have to remember to switch to, to just add one ready we always start with five a nickel is worth five five plus five is ten plus five fifteen plus five twenty and this time we're adding one, 20 plus one, 21. And here again are those words in all. We have 21 cents in all. Let's look and see what we have down here. It says circle the coins that match each price. So it looks like there's a little toy there and the price is 11 cents. When we have a group of coins and we're trying to come up with enough to buy something or to match the price, start with the biggest coin. Ready? 
Oh, the biggest coin here is nickel. So, let's see. This is five. One more nickel. Five and five is ten. I'm going to write ten down. So we're really close. Ten. And let's just add one more penny. Five, ten. Ten plus one. Eleven. There we go. I'm going to fix this down here. That's kind of getting into that next problem. There. Now here we have some juice. The juice is 15 cents. And here we have some nickels and a penny. Let's start with a nickel. Okay. Five. And five is ten. Plus five more. 15. Well, that's it. That's all we need. 5, 10, 15. Okay, that is it for today's math lesson. Um, and if you want to redo this, you can. I watch videos again frequently when I don't understand something.